Alrighty, hello guys, so can we fix it back to another video on my channel. Today we are actually going to be going ahead and making this thing into a parasite fighter. So if you guys don't know what a parasite fighter is, it's essentially a little plane that goes inside of a bigger plane uh, that can then be lowered out and uh, deployed and then it can take out aerial targets or whatever it needs to do. So an example of that would be the XF-85 Goblin, which was dropped from a B-29, uh, even though it's supposed to be dropped from a B-36. But anyway, let's go ahead and make this thing able to do that. First though, we need guns, so we're actually going to attach a gun to this. Uh, and then secondly, we actually need to be able to fold the wings on this. And then after that, we'll actually de make a deploying system uh, that could attach to a plane, or be inside a plane. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I do want to mention that this plane isn't actually that small. If we are to actually put this into a plane, like a bomber or something like that, uh, then this thing is, is going to have to be either smaller or the bomber is actually going to have to be quite big. So that's a thing. But anyway, let's go ahead and add weapons first. And then once we've added the weapons, we'll see if we can add folding wings. And then after that, we'll come up with a deploying system uh, that might be in another video. We'll see. Okie dokie, so what guns does this thing actually want? I feel like a light auto cannon is probably good enough, to be totally honest with you guys. So I think that is exactly what we'll use. A light auto cannon seems like a good idea. So with that being said, where can it go? Well, it could, in fact, actually probably go... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's do this. So let's put it right here like this. I don't know if I can put bits on it, if that makes sense. Because that currently will be shooting us. No, maybe we shouldn't do that. Maybe we shouldn't do that. But what if we put it here? Let's say. Oh, we can't even do that. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's super annoying. Okay, right. Let's put it here. Uh, One further back. There we go. So we can actually shoot the rounds out. Unfortunately, that really sucks. That actually really, really sucks. Unless we put it on top of the wing. Which, in that case, it would actually be fine. And we'd be able to have two of them, and it would be A-OK, -okay, maybe. So let's put it here. Flip it around. Make sure it's A-OK. -okay. There we go. We're going to have it quite far forward uh, around here. That's excellent. Actually, one further back. There we go. And then we can actually delete this. There we go. And we should be able to put extra ammo in the middle. This is actually a pretty good idea. So, auto cannon. Yes. We need a... Oh, like a slider thing. I don't know how to say it. Like... Like a, like a, just a straight box. I don't know whether we need a feeder on it, but maybe we do. Maybe we need feeders on these. Okay, so let's say we had a feeder that went right there. That's actually pretty cool because it adds to the aesthetic, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, we're then going to add, I don't know whether adding a medium drum will fit. And if it does fit, I want it to add to both, if that makes sense. So if there's a large drum back here, it needs to be in the middle. Which it can't be. That's unfortunate. That's really annoying. Okay, right. We'll do medium ones. Oh, should we do small ones? Because if we did it like this, it still doesn't fit. All right, we're going to have to go with small ones. Which is fine, because then we can attach it like that. That's pretty good. And then we just need an angle, like this one, to whack it into there. And there we go. We've got auto cannons added to our aircraft. And it was actually a very easy, easy thing to do. There we go. Nice. That's actually pretty cool. Good. Okay, so I guess with that being said then, we actually need to be able to feed these in. So, we need a space bar, which is actually going to shoot the guns, and it's also going to act as a feeder, which uh, I think makes sense. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and go to this, and make it a light auto cannon, and it's going to be high explosive. There we go. We're going to do it again right here, high explosive, and that's all good as well. There's nothing I can do with the rest of these things, so that's A-OK. -okay. Alright, excellent. That's actually, um, that's pretty decent. We'll attach these to each other, attach it to there, attach that to there, attach that to there. Okay, so now our auto cannons should actually fire and should actually work. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, so just randomly in the middle of this video, I want to say thank you guys for actually clicking on this video. I appreciate it so much. I have a Discord, I have a Twitter, and they're linked down below if you guys want to check them out. And at the minute on the Discord, we're actually running a challenge for you guys to build something in Stormworks. So go ahead and check that out. It'd be awesome. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. You know, there's another thing that I would really love to do, and that is sort of like fix this to it, if that makes sense. So if we did something like that, that would actually be pretty awesome. So let's try and sort out a little bit of a cockpit here. Just cut that and 
Well, we're going to have to place it somewhere else, unfortunately. But, like, if we put it here and then maybe here? Nope, we can't do that either. Oh, right, okay. In, backwards, down one. There we go, right? We can actually have it there. Good. We're going to do a similar thing on the other side. So bring it over here. Go ahead and grab that one. Cut it. Move it down one. Paste it. Merge all of these together. There we go. And there we go. Awesome. And now we can actually have the windows, which is these. Uh, and they just whack right onto there. Okay, that's actually pretty good. It's actually really good. Uh, so then, if we wanted more windows and stuff, we'd attach these back here. One and two. Oh, no, we wouldn't. No, we wouldn't. Ah. <laughs> How does this work? How would we even do this? I have no idea. I have quite literally no idea how this would even work. But I would want it so that it would... Maybe an angle... An angle out here? No. Okay, I don't know how to make this work. But I think I'm actually happy with just having a front canopy for now. A front... Yeah. That works. It works. Yeah. Sure. Okie dokie. So once we've done that, what we need to do is work on a, uh, a thingy bobby. So we're going to go ahead and cut the wing and we're going to paste it. We need to take it to the other side as well. And we need to do literally the exact same thing. So cut it and paste it. Okay, excellent. So now we need a way of folding these up. And they're actually going to fold this way. Alright, so pivot. Let's go ahead and grab a... D -d 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 robotic pivot. And it's actually going to go further back. It's going to go right here. And there is a reason for that. There is actually a reason for that. So we're going to go ahead and put it right there. Excellent. And it's now hidden by this. Excellent. That's actually really, really good. So if we merge this with this, and we do the same on the other side, this with this, and then we have it on a button. So electricity, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we need a switch box. We're going to use this one. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And it's actually going to go in here. It's a, uh, it could go in here. There's not much going on back here. So um, we'll attach it straight under there. Very good. And we'll attach it together. So the output goes to here and here. Very good. And this is switched on by, I guess, three. Three is going to be our, our thing. That works. Okay, so when it's done, it goes to one. And when it's off, when it's off, it's at one. When it's on, it's at zero. I think that's what we want. Spawn it in. All right, the other way around, the other way around. So minus one and then zero. Okay, minus one. Yes! Okay, cool. So it can be stored in a plane like that. And then once we want to take off, we just go ahead and press three. Oh, well, we lower ourselves down. We press three. That lowers our wings. And then we can just fly. That's excellent. I actually really like that. That design looks... I like that. That's cool. That's really cool. Also, just as a side note, I always make my planes red. Uh, and I feel like I shouldn't. Like, I, I feel like I honestly shouldn't make them red all the time. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and put this on here like so. And it's going to follow the whole edge of the wing all the way down to the end and do that. Okay, excellent. That is actually... That's actually pretty good. I like that. That looks nice. All right, cool. So now that we've done that, I don't really know what else we need to do. We've got the guns. We've got the folding wing. We need somewhere that it can actually attach onto. So we need like a like a thing that it can grab, if that makes sense. So I'm actually thinking our center of mass is here. So it should be around the center of mass. We'll just delete this and this. We'll get ourselves a connector like a mag uh, this one. There we go. And we can literally just have it right there. To be connected onto. I think that's fine. Honestly, I think that's a-okay. We'll delete these for now as well. We'll paint these two. We'll paint this. And we'll actually put a block right here. Like that. There we go. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll actually have this go down and this go down as well. There we go. Adds a little bit of detail to it that it kind of needs, to be fair. So we'll do that. Uh, in fact, actually, we'll do this instead. It's a lot more detail to it that it doesn't need. But whatever. That's fine. So, I actually really like the way this looks so far. We're going to go ahead and paint this piece real quick. And I don't mind the bumps and stuff in this. If I'm honest, I don't actually mind them. Um, but maybe I do. Maybe I do mind them. Maybe I maybe I do mind them. All right, put them back. Uh, and paint this. There we go. All right, spawn it in. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so angles upwards. I wish I painted this bit a different color, but whatever. It's fine for now. 
Uh, let's see if we can still fly it. So, press 1. Throttle up. Okay, excellent. And then when it comes to flying, we go ahead and we lower the wings. And we should be able to fly. It's a bit windy right now, but that's okay. However, we can't shoot. Oh, the things are probably the wrong way around. The feeders, they're probably the wrong way around. So let me go ahead and fix those real quick. Let me just check if they are or not, though, first. Yeah, they're the wrong way around. Because of course they are. Why wouldn't I put them in the wrong way around? Okay, so grab this. Cut it. Flip it. Paste it. All right, go to the other side. Do the same thing. Uh, cut it. Flip it. Paste it. Merge it. There we go. Merge it. Merge it. Okay, excellent. And that is it. All right, fly again. Let's go. Oh, this is sick. This is actually really, really cool. Uh, is there anything else that we would really like to do to this? I don't know. We got battery, we got fuel, we got speed. I guess we will need an altitude and stuff like that as well. Probably need an altitude hold and maybe some uh, autopilot things as well. But for now, we're good. We're being uh, hit by the wind, so we're a bit wibbly wobbly. But we shoot automatically. Yes! Okay, that's sick. That's actually really, really cool. I like it. Nice. And if we really wanted to, we can actually fly it like this as well. Why would you want to do that? I have no idea, but there you go. It is possible. Go ahead and lower the wings down. Oi! Okay, and we're still okay. We're still good. And there we go. Nice. So it still flies nicely. We've actually got auto cannons. Uh, and we've got foldable wings now, which is awesome as well. And that's actually really, really nice. I like it. Good. Okie dokie. So what I think we should do now is we should actually paint the inside so it doesn't look so weird. Uh, so we'll actually paint all of these bits uh, in grey. In grey so that they're the same as everything else. There we go. We'll paint that as well. And honestly, we'll actually do this. There we go. So it doesn't look so weird when we're flying around. Uh, we'll also do these pieces and this bit as well. And I think that's all that needs painting. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We now need um, our parachute. So it needs to come back. Let me uh, fill this in. There we go. We'll get a parachute. Here we go. So that'll go right in there, just like so. Let's go ahead and get rid of this real quick and attach it directly on. Okay, that is sick. This is sick. Okay, do that and that. Delete these guys. And I guess that's all fine. Okay, yeah, that's actually all fine. Good. So we've actually got a parachute back there now. Uh, is there anything else that we really need back there? Probably not. We need a way to get into this thing. We need some decals on it as well. So let's steal some from my other planes and we'll come back to this. Okie dokie. So this is one of my other planes. We need the FAF because it's uh, the Frenic Air Force. So let's go ahead and grab this and we'll actually cut it and we'll put it on our new plane. So go ahead and grab this one and we'll put it directly onto here. Now, I don't know where. I do know where it should go. Probably there, actually. Paste it right there. Take it to the other side and we'll paste it again. All right, paste it there as well. Okay, merge them in. There we go, and merge this one. And then we gotta actually do some uh, work here. So we gotta replace the color of this with white or a different color. So we'll go with black for now. And then we go with red for these. And that's pretty good. And then do exactly the same thing on this side. So black. And then red. Okay, FAF. But then I think it usually actually is in white. So we'll actually do that. And then we'll do this FAF. All right, excellent. That's really, really cool. I like it. Good. Okie dokie. So what else do we actually want to take from this? I feel like this is not really my logo. I, I randomly just drew it and I thought, yeah, that's cool. But that's not my logo. So I think we, we shouldn't have that. We probably shouldn't have this either. It looks weird. That is the canopy opening button. Uh, it's just pointing towards the button. Uh, and this is just a random emblem thing that I chose uh, to make, which is random as well. But we'll go ahead and copy it. And I guess we can paste it on our plane and hope that it looks okay. Yeah. Where would it go, though? Where would it actually go? Makes me not want to add it, to be honest, because I don't know where it would be. Where would it be? Unless it went here, like directly on the side of there. But then that doesn't really fit. So maybe we shouldn't have it. Maybe we shouldn't have it. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this. Nice. You know, I'm having second thoughts about the red. I, I am actually having second thoughts about the red. So what I want to do is I want to make the entire plane white again. Okay, and then we'll have red outlines on certain bits of it. Okay, right, so uh, F, A, F, and then make this bit white, white, and white. Good. Do the same thing on this side, so black, black, and black, and then white, 
white, and white. Okay, excellent. That actually looks pretty good. And then maybe red wings again. Because honestly, the red wings, I think, looks really cool. So we're going to go with a red wing starting about here. Okay. Okie dokie. Hopefully we're doing this on both sides, which I believe we are. Yes. And we'll do all of it. Very good. We'll do this bit as well. And these two. And I actually think that is a good looking plane. I actually really like it. Uh, cannons would actually look pretty cool too, I do believe. But uh, we're not going to add them. We are not going to use them. We're also going to have a strip down the middle that looks like this one. And we're also just going to paint this in as well. Red wings. Okay, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. I like it. We also kind of need to fix an air inlet into this thing somewhere, but I don't know where the air inlet would be. So maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. Okay, right. With all of that being done, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, paint this bit in as well, just like so, all the way down to there, because I think that looks sick. Uh, and maybe we should do the back end as well, just like that. Oh, maybe we shouldn't. No. Okay, right. Paint this and paint this. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Right, get rid of that. Okay, I think that's actually excellent. We might paint the whole top of this. Or not. Okay, we're not going to. All right, spot it in. Does it look cool? It looks a bit weird. The nose of it isn't the best. Uh, because it's designed around a flying, like, bomb. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. All right, let's go. Press three. Does it look cool? Yeah, I like it. I like it. And it still flies. Here we go. All right, we're in the sky. Awesome sauce. And I think that is actually where we're going to leave it today. In the next video, I think I might come up with a system of lowering it down from a plane. And then maybe eventually we'll actually build the whole plane around it. We'll see. But anyway, for right now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.